Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new. My name is Bobby. Guys, we are back at reacting after four whole months. Yes, it is time. I saw Connor Murphy promoting veganism and I couldn't stand still. Now we are back with the worst setup in human history. Just a crappy webcam and this phone headset, but it will have to do. Connor Murphy used to promote bodybuilding aesthetics. Now he did ayahuasca and he's talking about veganism. This is oddly familiar to me. I have a past with ayahuasca, psychedelic mushrooms, etc. And of course, with four years of veganism today we're going to react to connor murphy let's see what he has to say all right guys so i'm about to show you the optimal diet the optimal diet okay. for your mental physical and spiritual health now <laughs> keep in mind this diet is using food it's the natural best diet i do believe one day probably much sooner than you all right let me interrupt you right there this diet uses food yeah well that's good news other than that it is good for your mental and spiritual health I want to see how that goes. Usually it is a contradiction. Usually in spiritual circles, you see people excluding all kinds of foods to reach some sort of spiritual enlightenment. Let's proceed. I think that science will develop some sort of like pill or a little protocol that you take and it's the most healthy that you can possibly get. Let's not- Wait a second. First you say we are talking about a natural diet. Then you say the most ideal thing would be a pill that you swallow and then you would be the healthiest. I don't have to point out the contradiction here, do I? However, I already see where this is headed. Many spiritual vegans, they follow transhumanism and therefore believe that you can optimize the body through supplementation that right now let's think about the healthiest diet we can possibly have with pure natural food alone okay. now guys it should be obvious it should be so <laughs> obvious to you that science is so limited we have a new fad diet every year science has not been able to pinpoint the i agree that science is limited perfect diet for health and longevity it hasn't been able to do it what if i told you <laughs> that you already knew the best diet it's just been I would agree again covered up by all this artificial technology and all this weird knowledge but you truly know we acknowledge the best diet for you so I think we can all agree that natural is healthy right depends on what you mean by natural I would say natural equals good is of course a fallacy as well killing raping destroying is all natural that doesn't equal good for us as humans in a society so you will have to define what you mean by natural all these diets what are they trying to do they're trying to mimic our ancestors but guess what we don't even know what our ancestors some do and some don't there's eight there's arguments you knew how do you know <laughs> because you're human you can experience it you know what you would eat because you're a human, don't you get it? Now I know- And before I proceed, I just want to say, I saw a couple of other videos of Connor Murphy, and I really do hope that he is trolling. I really do hope that he is acting. He seems like a nice guy. I'm not here to bash or to destroy him. He's of course spewing a bunch of bullshit, but I hope that it is sarcasm. Some of you were thinking, Connor, you don't want to eat like a caveman. They died when they were 30. No. No, that is a myth. And if you dig up their bones, you'll notice based on their bone density, their tendon density, looking at their skeletons, they were healthier. An 80 year old ancestral skeleton is healthier than a skeleton today. An ancestral skeleton is healthier than a skeleton today. <laughs> means they were happier nice. because guess what? They were healthier and they didn't have the band-aid of all this technology. So they were truly. So what is it now? Technology good or bad? Natural or unnatural? Healthier, which means they're truly happier. Science keeps us alive with so many band-aids right now. Heart problem? Boom. Throw some medication at it. But it never fixes the root issue. It's which like is instead of buying a brand new beautiful canoe, you have this old awful canoe and you keep duct taping the bottom of it. It keeps having holes in it. You keep duct taping it. That's not true health. That canoe is not going to be happy. It's going to technically live longer, but it's not truly happy. What if I told you- <laughs> That's the worst example ever, a happy canoe. In the future, we don't need band-aids. What if I told you you could fix almost every single health problem based on your lifestyle alone? 
Your body is trying to tell you stuff. True. Do you have acne? Maybe you have pain somewhere. Maybe you're just feeling depressed. It's telling you that you need to change your lifestyle and diet is the most important one. I agree. All these things aren't natural. If you don't feel like a natural animal, if you're not as happy and blissful and spirited as a, as a dog, then there's something that is the issue. I agree again, but let's see where he leads us. You're just an animal. You should be happy and blissful if you want to be. And if you're not, it's because of this artificial technology, this weird artificial science stuff that's putting <laughs> band-aids on you science and it's stuff. actually taking away from your true health. Don't let science trick you into thinking you have good health. Experience it for yourself. You know you don't. You know you're not feeling it. Uh, okay, let me cut you off right there. Science doesn't say anything. Scientists do. Science is neutral at best. No matter if you are into spirituality, religion or whatnot, you shouldn't be an enemy of science. Of course, you always have people that try to push an agenda. Science is just a tool. Ideal, you know it. Why trust science when over thousands and thousands of years they still haven't figured out the right diet. They still can't agree. Who is they? They still can't agree. They don't. How should they agree? They're different people. That's like saying politicians don't agree with each other for years and years on end. Does that mean we should get rid of all politicians? Politics don't work because some people disagree with each other. That is human nature. We will always disagree. I agree with some things you say and I disagree with others. Oh no. You know. What if I told you you know? So yes, <laughs> we should try and eat like our ancestors. Our furthest, furthest back ancestors. Not when we developed tools. Not hmm. when we developed cooking. Why not though? This is what you see with many naturalists. Somehow tools are bad. What is a tool? Our hand is a tool. Then the weapon that we forged with those hands. They are tools as well. What is a tool? What is technology? Where does it start? And where does it end, Connor? But just the natural food that the universe gave us, God gave us, whatever. Now, how do you know what that is? I'm gonna show you some foods. Please do. And we're gonna see which ones you wanna eat. It's that simple, but, but, <laughs> let's go back way back in the day okay. to our furthest ancestors. Okay, so if we're going way back to our furthest ancestors, I assume that you will have the foods that our furthest ancestors ate right some sort of ancient wild herbs and fruits let's see what you got adam and eve or if you guys aren't religious adam and eve. right when the monkeys were turned into the humans it's very interesting i heard many vegans attacking me as well connor if you're watching i am christian orthodox therefore yes i believe in the bible in the stories of the bible however what many people confuse when they hear about christian stories they don't account for the fall they don't understand that Adam and Eve were kicked out of Garden Eden. And with that, this creation fell. This is a degraded reality in which we find ourselves in. In Garden Eden, there was no meat. There was no flesh. Why? Because there was no death. If you don't have death, you don't have meat. Very, very easy to understand. However, when you look around here, everything dies. It is a cycle of living and dying. And therefore, we do have meat here, which is, on that note, the most nutritionally dense food we could possibly eat. Don't take half-truths out of Christianity and mix it with some spiritual mumbo-jumbo just in order to promote your narrative. Before they started using tools, before they started cooking, the pure, natural human form. Sounds before like raw veganism, tool, eh? Before this artificial technology started developing, let's actually look at what the actual, natural, enlightened humans ate <laughs> before this horrible thing called the ego took over. Sure, you could say the ego, but yet again, you could say the fall. In Christian orthodoxy, we do account for the fall, a degraded reality where we don't have only goodness, where we're not as close to God as we used to be. We are in a fallen creation where we have a duality, a polarity of good and evil. If we eat that, we'll be <clears> our healthiest, <throat> mentally, physically, and especially spiritually. Do you want to be enlightened? Okay. No. Do you want to awaken? No. Then, this is the diet for you. The diet that all you have to do is look within. Okay? So, I'm going to show you some food. Sounds like John Ross. Food, and let's just see what you eat. But remember, 
It has to be in its natural state because that's all we had back then. So let's check out the food. All right, this is super simple, not a trick question. He's already super excited riding the sugar roller coaster. I'm gonna show you a beautiful buffet of natural foods. You get to pick, pick yourself. Okay. You don't have to look at any research journals. Poor Connor, man. I really feel for you. You seem like such a nice dude that went down the wrong rabbit hole. Just pick the food yourself, whatever you want to eat. Let's see. Mmm, look at this beautiful buffet of natural, <laughs> natural foods. So you're an animal. You have no scientific knowledge. You're just <laughs> a pure healthy animal. You're just like an animal in the forest who survives and lives a perfectly healthy and happy life without... Again, this is a fallacy as well, because you assume that we are simple animals. Somehow you want to see it from a spiritual perspective, but then yet again you want to see it from a Darwinistic evolutionary perspective, where we appear to be simply animals. From a Christian standpoint, we of course separate. We are different. We might have an animalistic body, if you will. However, we are not animals. Humans and animals are not the same. Now having knowledge. So let's see, hmm, which one of these things would you want? <laughs> Pretty obvious, fruit. It's delicious. I love it. Mm. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and there he is with the man-made banana. Listen, guys, I am not against technology. I do not appeal to nature. It has to be natural. What he is truly talking about is, of course, the wilderness, the wild. How we used to eat in the wild, in our natural habitat, if you will. However, I disagree with that as well, because through our ability to build technology, we find ourselves in rooms, in houses, in flats, using the internet and flying planes. This is just as natural as anything else. However, this banana has no seeds. So if you believe in the Bible, even in the Bible it states that we should eat only the fruits that have seeds. So now you hold this banana in the camera and think you're very natural. This banana has been hybridized. In nature, you would only find its wild counterpart with countless little seeds and much less sugar. On top of that, you are white, you're Caucasian. In your area, you wouldn't even have those fruits to begin with. So the only thing that you would find is a few berries during summer. At best, the rest would be obvious wild caught game with the peel it's way better than these things it's so good oh, let's <laughs> keep going he must be trolling what's the next best food huh well let's see um i have this weird inkling for protein hmm which <laughs> protein should i choose i want my muscles to be strong so i can survive that's what you thought back in the day right protein i thought we don't think about science nobody knew what protein is hmm this or what is <laughs> no, of course. I'm gonna have some nuts. Mm. Sure, and you would just pass by a nut bush and start feasting on it. That is ridiculous. You wouldn't be able to find so many nuts and seeds in nature, in the wild. You wouldn't be able to make a whole meal out of it. That is ridiculous. And of course, by now, we should know there are so many anti-nutrients in those nuts that they will damage your gut. Nobody in nature, no wild animal, would eat a bunch of nuts. Ridiculous. Some seeds! Mmm! <laughs> oh, it's so good! Yeah. They're so good! Mmm, I might have a little bit of fruit now. Mmm. Mmm, okay, okay, what about? It's so hilarious to see that spiritual people believe they're evolving into some sort of light being, but at the same time they're degrading themselves into simple monkeys. Uh-oh, uh -oh. it's not fruit season. The fruit is gone. Oh. Yeah. These vegetables look okay. <laughs> They're still nice and tasty. And there he holds up the man-made carrot. Again, this is hybridized. This is bread. Regular wild carrots were nothing but little roots. You could never sustain yourself with those roots. You could never survive on a couple of roots. Those carrots, those bananas, those nuts, all of those things are new, modern human inventions. So if you really are an animal with no technology, you wouldn't be able to eat those foods. Back then we didn't have them. Mm. 
Not bad at all. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> what if all of those were gone? What if there were somehow no nuts? No fruit, no vegetables? What? Welcome to the reality of things. There were no nuts, there were no seeds, there were no bananas and carrots. Welcome to the past, to the wild, to nature. Oh. Ew! Okay, definitely gonna try this. This isn't gonna be very good. Dried beans? Where would you find dried beans? You have to cultivate monocrops for this. There wasn't a field with beans. It is ridiculous. And on that note, Connor, we like you. We don't want you to die. Please don't try raw black beans. Just a few of them can kill you if you eat them raw due to their anti-nutrients. Nothing wants to die. Those plants want to survive as well and they don't have claws to attack you. So what they use is their anti-nutrients. Please do not eat raw beans. I'm gonna have to let it sit in my mouth for a while. <laughs> not very tasty. <laughs> He's trolling now, no it. chance. Not bad, even some grains of rice. Yeah, sure. Not terrible, <laughs> crunchy, pretty bland, but I can deal with it. Yeah. Can when you? would you ever eat that? Or I just ate that yesterday. It's called sushi. It's called sashimi. The whole world loves it. Don't act as if nobody would eat a raw fish. That is ridiculous. If you really want to talk about nature, about the wild, you will have to understand that you, as an animal, are a domesticated animal in your kitchen, in society, in California. You're so far removed from that reality that this seems ugly, disgusting to you. Meanwhile, we all love raw fish. No seasoning needed. Are you kidding me? That's even freaking processed. There's at least the chicken has its feathers off. Like humans, if you really do your research, and again, you don't need to do research. Just go by your own experience if you really do. Meanwhile, he's still chewing on the rice because he cannot eat it. You're not made for it, man. Research, you will find <laughs> that our ancestors were vegetarian, okay? It was work and it was an awful experience to try and kill some animal and then somehow scavenge together their how was it an awful experience to kill an animal if we have cave paintings all over the world where we can see that those people were proud in killing a mammoth for example this is the history we can find it everywhere eat it it was so much easier just to grab some fruit just to grab some vegetables just <laughs> so much easier even though we didn't have it back then. Grab some nuts. It was so much easier. <laughs> there are all these myths, all right? We think we have these canine teeth to rip through meat. No! Look at monkeys. They have the same thing. They don't eat meat. These teeth. No, they actually do when they can. They're for intimidation. To scare things. That's what they're for. I forgot to say. <laughs> Doesn't look too scary to me. If you're a bodybuilder and your true meaning of life, you just want to be a bodybuilder more than anything else. That's your passion. Okay. Probably not the best diet for you, to be honest. I wasn't eating this diet before because I wanted to gain a bunch of muscle. But then I realized that mm -hmm. being a bodybuilder isn't anywhere close to true health. It's just some aesthetic surface level thing. I went through a similar realization. All of a sudden you have to let go of the flesh body and all the bodybuilders, they're so unspiritual and only we are evolved beings. This is, of course, pride. If you would be a true Christian, you would understand that pride is our downfall, that pride is a sin, that certain spiritual experiences such as ayahuasca, etc., can lead to this false sense of pride. This will be your downfall. You cannot know if you truly are better, more evolved than a bodybuilder. You do not know about his personal journey. This is between him and God. So then I started focusing on true health and my diet just changed. I didn't have to research any of this. <laughs> it just happened. Somehow I just... W sure, you didn't research anything. Meanwhile, YouTube is full of raw vegans that spoo the exact same BS. I wanted to start eating healthier. Now, okay, let's say we're at this in this horrible winter or we're in the desert. <laughs> And there's no food, there's nothing, there's no vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, Ah. Oh. You mean 90% of the world back then? Do I really have to do it? Do I have to do it? I don't want to do it. Oh. 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 For 
the thumbnail. <sighs> Eating raw or undercooked food may increase your chance of foodborne illness. Don't do so without consulting your doctor. Always ask the doctor for everything. Always be a dependent little child and trust your doctor because he knows. He knows what you're experiencing. He reads books. Sir yeah, but wait a second. Our doctors tell us about plant-based diets, don't they? Whole grains are healthy for us, fruits and vegetables. The doctor wouldn't tell you to eat raw meat. However, we know that raw meat is the healthiest you can eat. Simple as that. Sushi, sashimi, steak tata, capacho. The most delicious and the healthiest foods on the planet. Seriously, don't try this at home. Like I just explained to you, it is unhealthy. Ah. See, there you can see how brainwashed you are. If you want to appeal to nature, then you must understand that we are perfectly suited to eat raw animals. This is what we've been doing. All of your plants are man-made. They're all manufactured, all hybridized. None of them were found back in the day. So therefore, this, what you see here, is the closest that you would get to actual food. This is what we did. Of course, we still use tools to cut animals open and devour their flesh. This is normal. This is what we are made for. This is what everybody eats. Everybody loves sushi. Ah! Yes, our ancestors ate meat. But only when yeah. we had to. Only when there was no other option. Which was all the time. So, yeah guys, will you find this diet to be healthy by scientific research? Oh yeah, you'll find fruits healthy, you'll find nuts are healthy. Exactly. But there's a lot of other science out there that, you know, says some other things too. There's so much science about so many different foods. How do you decide what to trust? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, look inside and trust yourself. There is nothing about the pure human experience that you can't figure out simply by paying attention. I agree partially. It is definitely important to listen to your inner voice, to your inner guidance, to your instincts. However, we do have experts. See, I'm not trying to repair my car or fix my TV or do surgery on myself. We do have experts for certain fields. Do we have to appeal to authority now? No, of course not. They're just humans as well. But again, we can use science as a tool. You pay attention to experience. You are human. You have this weird, clouded judgment because of this falsehood called the self, the ego, and it's covering up your true nature, but you can see past that. He's still chewing. You can <laughs> fix any problem of the self, of the human, through natural means. And you know how to do it. You just gotta look within and figure it out. So, based on this exercise, what should you eat? It's a no-brainer. Eat fruit, eat nuts and seeds, Eat vegetables, everything else, only if you have to, very sparingly. Uh, so basically veganism, right? Eliminate the animal foods as practicable as possible. Eat it in moderation. It's that simple. It is that simple to be healthy, truly healthy. The only <laughs> way you could ever want to eat unhealthy food is if you trick one of your five senses. You cook it, you change the texture. You cook it, you change the color. You put spices on it, you change the smell. Again, does not apply to sashimi. That fish head smelled disgusting. It doesn't smell disgusting at all if it is a fresh kill. You will never eat unhealthy again in your life if you truly just eat what's natural. You can <laughs> eat whatever you want. So hybridized man-made fruits are still natural out of your perception. However, a fish, a wild-caught fish, is not vegan logic. If it's natural. So seriously, I know I was acting crazy during this video, but I'm dead serious. Think about that. Only through experience alone. You can figure it out. You can figure out what you should be eating. Fruits. Fruit should be a staple. Nuts, seeds. That's where you should get most of your protein. Have some vegetables. <laughs> if you want. The phytic acid in nuts doesn't let you absorb any protein out of those nuts anyways. You should do some research, Connor. Everything else, very sparingly. Some rice, some legumes, sure. Maybe once in a while. But if you truly want to be healthy, stay away from the animal products. <laughs> now, I know Sounds you legit, guys are bro. high, and you guys really like animal products, but just try it out. Just do it for a month. It's your health, your happiness. Why not experiment? Mm. Experiment and see how you feel. Yeah, see how you feel. If you eat fruits, nuts, seeds, some vegetables, 
you are going to be feeling incredible. <laughs> very, very incredible. I guarantee you. Yeah, thank you very much for the guarantee. I'm going to cut it off here. The video is long enough. I'm going to feel incredible. You're going to feel incredible. We all going to feel incredible eating vegan. This is what you say. But meanwhile, we have thousands and thousands of ex-vegans feeling absolutely terrible on this regimen. Why? Because it's not our natural diet because it is not our species-specific diet. This is a fallen creation, a fallen reality. Unfortunately or fortunately, we do have to obey by those rules of nature and we do have to eat animal foods in order to thrive, in order to be happy, in order to be healthy. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Again, sorry for the poor setup. However, I hope this did the job and you still enjoyed the video. If so, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, much love and peace.